good, good evening, everyone. I'm Marzana Chaudhry from Bangladesh. I was trained as an environmental engineer, and in 2009, I was working in my home country in Bangladesh. That's when a devastating cyclone hit and changed my life. I was working as a volunteer in the International Labour Organization, ILO, which is a UN body. On May 25, 2009, Cyclone Isla hit the southern western part of Bangladesh. It hit during the high tide, causing a 20 feet high tidal bore and affected 3.3 million people. The protective embankments were breached with saline water entering and submerging village after village. Immediately after the disaster, I was sent on a relief mission to help. After traveling for 12 hours, crossing all the devastated village, we arrived in a small village called Bainpara, on the bank of the Nalian River in Khulna district. The whole village was wiped off the map by the cyclone and around 208 families of the village lost their lives. Many lost their lives and those who have survived had to seek shelter either on higher embankments or by fleeing to cities. I was there on the location for three days, providing relief to the survivors, assisting our medical team and counseling the distressed women and children. I could not sleep for days during my stay because of witnessing the destruction. Every moment I kept on thinking how lucky I was not to be a part of that community which lost everything. The resources we had were not enough to meet the need of the villagers. What they needed was the cyclone resilient infrastructure to survive the uh, disaster in the first place. A deep urge was building inside me to do something for this community. The following year, I joined Comprehensive Disaster Management Program of UNDP Bangladesh. In this organization, I became one of the leading members of a team of engineers who designed and built new structures that were created to withstand cyclones winds up to 160 miles per hour. Because of my connection to Bainpara, I was able to grant, get a grant to do, do a need assessment in that community and then build new infrastructures for 58 families in that village. Each house is built with four separate columns so that it can withstand future storms and construction materials used to were saline resistant and should be able to stand for 100 years. The project was comprehensive in nature, providing them housing with solar power, water and sanitation facilities with sustainable livelihood options, and rebuilding education system for the children in, of the community. Later, these projects have been replicated in other several places by the other international organizations and was a complete success. In the end, I would like to thank the members of ELP and UC Berkeley for giving me this opportunity and provide me the platform to share my experience. Thank you.